Look what I just found. Yes, please. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I turned that trash into treasure, plus this brand new elevated tray project. Let's start off with the easiest project. This is what inspired today's video. I had this metal tool tray. I wasn't using it anymore, but I loved the green rusty patina. I didn't want to get rid of it. So I used this drill bit on my drill to drill through the metal and then made pilot holes into some spindle legs I cut off of some old chairs. Then I simply used a washer and a wood screw to drill down into the spindle legs and that's it. That's this makeover. I did clean the metal tool tray really well and gave it a coat of Rust-Oleum clear matte spray and I'll link that in my Amazon shop as well as the drill bits. I love this makeover. I want to keep this so bad. What do y'all think? I've added feet to a lot of things but I think this is my new favorite item I've ever added feet to. I found that huge sign and this tote full of wood by the side of the road. I knew another round of decor boards, decor risers, and candlesticks were on the way and I really wanted to focus on some round shapes and some European finishes with this beautiful dark wood. I used my copper pans to draw some round circles. They were the closest thing I had. I knew I was going to stage with them so they were right there. The wood was all splitting and falling apart, which y'all know I love, and I just used my jigsaw to cut these rounds out. I'm using tight bond wood glue to glue the pieces back together and just some masking tape to hold them in place while it dries. I like this ultimate wood glue, it sets up really quickly. These table legs were in the Tupperware by the side of the road, so right now I am removing the rusty old hardware and you know I'm saving it for later. And then I'm going to cut the thick piece of these legs off to make some candlesticks and I will save the rest of the leg for a future project. Time to sand everything down. I've got my Craftsman Random Orbital Sander. I started with 60 grit sandpaper to get all the paint off, then smoothed down to a 120 on that side. On the more weathered side, I just smoothed the real rough parts out. So I've got this browner side, and then when I flip it, I've got a more weathered wood side like you see right here. Now, since these boards had breaks in them, I'm going to be doing repairs. These little pieces of wood were parts off of an old Hoosier table. I used pieces and parts of it already for signs and candlesticks, but these little tiny pieces of wood I knew could be salvaged. I'm using them to create repairs on this board, but then also if you flip this board over, it doubles as a small riser. The rounder European style boards are getting metal repairs of course. 
These are the last few pieces I have off the old trunk I pulled apart and then I'm using the rusty screws from the metal pieces off the legs to tie in the final look. The last piece of wood I had was a big weathered 2x6. I cut three rounds out of it with my jigsaw just like the boards and now I've got a small part of the 2x6 left that I'm cutting down into cubes that will make the feet for these round risers. You see the three round risers here, I have them flipped upside down. I have my cubed feet. We're going to take that same sandpaper method, 60 down to 120, get these feet rounded out use the same tight bond glue and my pneumatic nail gun to attach the feet. I cut a few different shapes just for fun. Now that everything is cut, sanded, and assembled, it is time to add the finishing touches. I'm using DIY Clear Wax, which is a buttery smooth wax here on a chip brush. I'm going around and hitting all of the areas where I have my fresh cuts. Then I'm taking a DIY Decrepit Dust. You can see I spilled some there on the ground. It's okay. And since I have a little bit of wax on the piece, that decrepit dust is going to stick in all of the areas I have the wax. I'm highlighting where there's nicks and dings and deep cuts because that's where oil and food and grease would have gotten naturally stuck in these old antique breadboards. Then I go around the edges and you can see it just really antiques them well. Now for the risers, since they're more of a gray weathered wood, I'm using Sweet Pickens Grit. It's the same concept, it's a dust-like powder, but it's more gray than brown, so it's going to blend better with these risers. Let me know down in the comments below, have you ever used a Decrepit Dust or the Sweet Pickens Grit before? And again, it just ages the piece beautifully and blends with the top of that wood so much better. Let's take a look at all of the final projects today. I am loving this European feel that I'm getting, the natural tones. This is really the vibe I'm going for for fall this year. Of course, all of the boards and risers and the candlesticks you see are available on my site. I will list some pricing here for you. Everything will also be down in the description box below as well.
I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and were able to grab a ton of inspiration from it. Please drop me a comment down below. Let me know which project was your favorite. And of course, if you take this and use the inspiration and make your own version, please drop a picture in my Facebook creative group. I've linked all the links to my social media down in the description box. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends.